Hey, welcome everyone to third video of this Ross Navigation Stack series. In this video, we are going to make our own world in Gazebo and spawn our robot into that world. So before starting, I'd like to tell you if you are watching this video for the very first time, watch out my previous video where I have explained how you can add various successful plugins to simulate our robot in Gazebo world. So before starting, make sure you subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon as I bring such an interesting video every week. So let's get started. So now it's time to make our own world and add our robot into that world. So for that, let's open a terminal and type gazebo. So now this is an empty world of gazebo. In that, we'll go into file, then building editor. So this window will appear. So I'll just scroll down. So this is my origin where my robot will be spawning at the beginning. So I'll select a wall from here. I'll start making the world. So as our robot is very small, I'll make a very small world here. So it will be very easy for us to map the environment. Or sometimes it will be very complicated if I make a very big environment. So I'll try to keep environment as small as possible. So here we have enclosed that. Now we can add some extra rooms also here. But try to keep the world in proportion to your robot size. So now here we have created our world. So now let's give some bricks to it. I'll select the brick tool from here and I'll just add the bricks. Sometimes the brick don't stick to it. So you have to do more times so that it sticks. You can also add various other textures that Gazebo offers. So now here I have created my world. So now what I'll do, I'll go into file and save as. Here I'll give the name to my world. It's saying already exist. Then also I'll override it and I'll save it. So now I will exit the building editor. So now here our world has been appeared. So now our next task is to add some obstacles to it. So in, I'll go into insert, there are various other things to add. You can select anything from here, like there is a table, chair. If you want, you can add many more, much more things. But for now, I'll not add anything. I'll just keep the world as it is. And what I'll do, I'll go into this and I'll save the world as, save world as. I'll give the name, my first world dot here you have to give the extension as dot world and then you have to save it so now here my world has been saved so i'll just close this so my next task is to copy this file so this is the world this is the sdf file so i'll copy this i'll just cut it and i'll copy it to my workspace in my differential type robot package, I'll make a new folder name as worlds. Worlds, W-O-R-L-D-S. I'll press enter and I'll paste it here. So here, now I have copied the my first world dot world file in worlds directory of my differential type robot package. So now second thing to do is you have to open the launch folder. In that launch folder, you have to open the gazebo file. So after opening gazebo.launch file, you have to add three things here. First is the argument of world. So what I'll do, I'll just copy the below tag, paste it here and cut this and I'll give the argument name as world name. Then the second thing I'll add here is value is equal to in double quotes 
I'll give a dollar sign here. Opening and closing braces. Then find. Here we have to specify the name of our package, which is differential drive underscore robot underscore description. And then now after the closing brace, we have to add a forward slash world slash and the name of our world dot world extension file, which is my first world dot world. So here we have added our robot to our world. Now one more two things to add is the robot state controller and joint state controller. In the further coming video, you will understand why we have added this. So again, I'll copy this. I'll copy this and I'll paste it below. And in place of robot state, joint state, I'll add robot state. So I'll save it. So now here we have added these three things. First is the node name, joint state publisher, and node name, robot state publisher, and second, and the third thing we've added is the argument name, world name, value is find. Where is our find this argument? Actually, this value we give so that we tell the ROS that here is where our world file is stored. So find differential drive robot description worlds my first world dot world. So these three things we have added in gazebo.launch. We'll save this and now we'll try to launch our gazebo.launch file. So first of all, we'll source the workspace and then we'll launch ROS launch differential drive robot description and gazebo dot launch. Press enter and see whether our robot spawns into that world. So here we have successfully spawned our robot into our world. So here you can see our robot which is at origin and this is our world which we made earlier so this is how we can add our robot to our custom design world so in the next video we are going to make a map of this world and save that map so if you like this video to like share and subscribe the channel until then stay creative with me technofetch